It was chaotic at the Siokimau administration police post, the last place the Mavoko three were placed before their murders. The fires of confrontation had been lit. The protesters, many of them border border operators, here in solidarity with their slain colleague against the occupants of this makeshift structure that was the AP camp. Police officers could only watch as the flames licked through the camp. The killings last week were only fuel on the flames of what is turning out to be deep resentment of the law enforcers by the border border operators, many of them who claim the camp was more of a torture chamber where many of their colleagues suffered. Ile kitu imekuwa ikiendelea hapa ni ajabu ni kama tuko Kenya. Sisi tumeona maajabu ya watu kuuliwa. Tumeshindwa kama Masai ni loja ama vile anafanya kesi haraka haraka anaamua anaua. Ameua watu mdodongo wengi ameua sio kimao ni kiona. Sasa ame, ame, ameua watu. Sasa sisi tu, 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 tuko na usuni. In Nairobi, Police Inspector General Joseph Boynet was trying to put out another fire. He's been feeling the heat of the criticism and the demands by lawyers that he takes responsibility for the murder of lawyer Willie Kimani and leaves office. The culprits should be brought to book. That no stone should be left unturned in the investigations. The highest level, the intense most level of investigations and professionalism to collect all the evidence to get all the culprits and to bring them to book. I do not want to say no stone and turn. I want to say that we will do as police all that we are required to do to ensure that justice is done. If you are tired of stories, can I hear you shout enough? enough. If you are tired of assurances from people behind gates, can I hear you say enough? Enough. The lawyers want the Inspector General of Police, his deputy Samuel Arachi and Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri to resign over the murders. Sheila Sendeo, NTV.